death in black and white, picture after picture from the Spanish flu outbreak showing the struggle in the U.S. and across the country and around the world to try and keep patients alive. If the case was severe, your face would turn blue from lack of oxygen, you'd bleed from the ears and nose. Finally, people would suffocate on their own blood and, and mucus. It was, it was a horrible disease, and we minimized it here. Here, meaning New Mexico, because at the time, we were the only government in the country that did not have a state health department. A lot of people in New Mexico uh, were not very concerned about the spread of this disease. More than a century ago, state leaders thought our climate provided a natural protection against the Spanish flu, but they were wrong, even trying to downplay that misguided theory. Doctors in Albuquerque were saying the biggest fear from the flu is the panic that it's causing. It's estimated anywhere from 1,500 to 5,000 New Mexicans died from the Spanish flu. It spread quickly because Owen Lewis says it initially attacked younger working adults and their kids and then to the older population. Doug Fernandez, KOAT, Action 7 News.